Hey, what up, though? What up, though? What up? Come on in here, man. Let's talk about it. We got a lot to talk about, bro. Bucket hat went nuts and got shut the fuck up <laughs> by his own guests. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of people ain't going to see it the way I see it, but I I'm going to start the show by saying this, man. This is how I'm going to open the show up like this, man. Ignorance never beats logic. It just covers it up. You heard? Break that down for me, man. If you listen, if you in the audience, man, jump in the comments, jump in the what? Ignorance never beats logic. It just covers it up. If you understand that, break it down for me in the comment section. You heard? Peace to all the gods. Peace to all the earth. Peace to my beloved justice. A lot of peace to the chat. The gang, Purple Heart, gang, Cash App, gang. Uh, 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 the, the snipers in effect. Everybody with a wrench was good with you. How y'all be, man? Shout out to Brian uh, Glaze Gibbs, too. You know what I'm talking about? I had a request to do this video. They requested I do this. They called me back to the streets, dog. You know what I'm talking about? First comment, these YouTube streets. What's good with you, homie? Peace, God, how you be? Basil Champ, what up, though? I see you. They go to God himself. How you be, God? All is, me, all is well my way. And of course, he said, welcome to Detroit. And that's all I needed to see for him to say. So since he said that to me, I'm going to say this to you. Welcome to Detroit. Motherfucker. <laughs> right, 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 right. I got you. I got you. I love it. Hey, what's going on? What you need? What you need? What you need for me right now? Um, give me something like. Can you say like, like, yo, uh, this is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with. Oh no, I'm tapped in with up for the big TV. Just something like, like, like that. Nothing big. You okay, know? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm just asking you what you want me to say. This is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with my main man. Yes, up sir. For the big TV. Yes, sir. Oh, that's not that's 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 easy and it's true. Go ahead, let's go. All right, go ahead whenever you're ready. All right, all right, all right. Yo, this is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with my main man up for the big TV all day. I fuck with him. Yes, sir. I appreciate you for that one. Yeah, we good. Yes, sir. All day, all day, love. All right, Detroit, just hit me. It really hurt me when they killed Stan. Nobody knew who to shoot. We ain't even have a plan. He sold me my first gun. He held my first son. If I was with him shooting it out, bitch, we the one. I shed tears for my niggas who ain't here. They tattooed and spit that real shit to remember him. Bitch, I'm that dude. Catch a op and spit on his baby daughter. I'm that rule right at 3 o'clock. As soon as he get out of school, you killed my dude. I don't give a fuck about you. I hope somebody killed you in case I never found you. And yeah, they know I'm bound to and I put that on down. And when I saw Tawana start crying, shit, I cried too Cause then I knew it was real, that was your boo And I ain't fuck with them other niggas, but they cried too I wore black like a whole 30 days I slept in niggas' bushes, I fed niggas' caves Ask Satan for the power and the rage to kill the right nigga Shot up a couple houses, a couple twice, nigga Supposed to been at your wedding, what you threw some rice, nigga But now nah, it's snake eyes like I threw some dice, nigga I lost you, how the fuck I'm supposed to take this shit Without a real target, how I'm supposed to take this hit Now everybody get lit, it's a green light I sent a couple cowards to you, blood, take they ass to life God, I hope I killed you, nigga And if I didn't know it still do, nigga Yeah, you took my right hand, man, you took my nigga five Now everybody had a problem with him's homicide Bitch, I don't care if you did it or not, you gotta die I know my nigga, he with me, he riding from the sky Now I'ma let this mad hit you and rip through your bone tissue, bitch And if you still breathing, no, I'm still coming get you, nigga and I ain't going, he trying to set me up and he don't think a nigga know it Animosity show it through his words, how he spoke it Steady asking where I'm at, he trying to send him hit a smoking Bitch nigga, I hit niggas for that same motherfucker When niggas needed a friend, I treated him like a brother When niggas was on your ass, bitch I had your back covered Then the envy kicked in, jealous coward motherfucker This loyalty over envy, LOE to my duck Hey, watch your mouth, no dissing me. You know, we all saw it. You say I'm fake, that's your opinion, that's just y'all story. Just face the fact that I'm your blessing. And y'all ignore me. What's good with you, man? How y'all be? What's going on? What's going on, man? Oh, what's up with me? Oh, I was just on cuts by Dre.net. 
I was just on cutsbydre.net checking out the new products he got over there, man. You know what I'm saying? An amazing barber from the Minneapolis, Minnesota, uptown area. What is it? Uptown off Lakeland. You know what I mean? Amazing barber. Man, he got Rasta tees, CBD, Afro picks. He got a whole bunch of joints. Get over there and see what you see, man. Get what you get. Don't play with your sale, man. If your barber ain't got merch, he ain't a real barber, dog. I'm telling you, you can't go to your barber and get your hair cut and walk out with at least a Diana. You can't at least walk out with a dirty Diana. You know what I'm talking about? Shh, that ain't no real barber, dog. You know what I mean? It's like a prison haircut and shit. You know what I mean? You your hair cut with the trimmers in the sale on the yard or something for the visit. Just saying, dog. You know? Every day. Every motherfucking day. What's good? Shout out to the notes. They called me to come back to the streets. They say, yo, doggy is talking crazy, man. They say, dog is talking crazy. It's a 20-something minute video. I made it through eight minutes and 59 seconds. Exactly. That's all I needed to watch. Because as I said at the beginning of this broadcast, Ignorance never beats logic. It only covers it up. Let's get on the elevator skydiving champion thrown down a shaft over some crack rock he placed in a glass crack pipe. Fuck Sub-Zero and Fayback Son. <laughs> what? <laughs> and everybody else as well. Word, God, I appreciate the love. You know, I, I, I'm reciprocating. You know what I'm talking about? I feel the same, homie. You heard? I don't know what's wrong with these niggas, dog. Everybody got a lot to say. You feel me? Po left, everybody had a lot to say. I leave, everybody got a lot to say, dog. I don't understand what's going on with niggas, man. But none of them want to say it to me. What up, though? How you be, homie? Oh, yeah, Zulu Warrior shit. I'm on my Zulu today. We're going to get the Zulu going today, dog. Because somebody got to make it make sense to me. Let me say this, though. If you watch the video that a lot of you know that I'm talking about in this broadcast, <clears throat> the cat that was with him, I wouldn't mind seeing him speak more. You know what I'm saying? What's Dog's name? I think Dog's name is, is, is I'm going to call him Mr. White. I wouldn't mind hearing Mr. White speak more. You know what I mean? He got substance. Hearing Alpo is like he's still here. Salute, young go ahead. You connected with Alpo. You made chess moves and made it happen. And are not from NYC. That's why they hate it. Legendary five. Salute. Salute, man. I'm just trying to connect with those that getting it like I get it. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Miller? And everybody going to be mad when our motherfucking Audible drop. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Miller got writing credits on the Audible and the whole nine. You know what I mean? We're going to work out the other differences a little later. But yeah, yeah. If I didn't say it before, I'm going to say it now. That was his idea. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he dropped the jewel on the guard. He said, hey, man, you working too hard. Work, work smarter, not harder. You know what I'm saying? What you got in your hands, you can do the do the do the do the do the split whoop de whoop. Yeah, 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 and that's what I'm going to do. Shout out to Mark Miller, ATL in the building. You know what it is. Shout out to the guards. What we doing? The amazing old back in the building, respect. And the Poe mob with you, absolutely, man. They always mob with me, man. Shout out to Team Alpo, man. Poe life, you know what it is, man. Somebody recently told me I don't deserve the title. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I can't be, you know, what everybody else want me to be when everybody else want me to be it. That's all I can say, you know what I mean? It's real life shit going on out here. You know what I mean? Foxborough in this thing. What up, though? How you be? Long time no see, homie. What up with you? Lee Jeremy. Who's the guy Alpo was talking about in that video where he said he thought one guy would look out 
while he was locked up, but he didn't. Which video is that? You're gonna have to be a little bit more clear with me, dog. He sounded a little hurt about that. I don't know. You got to be a little bit more clear, man. I'm about to listen to the video for myself because right now it's not ringing a bell with me, dog. Lady T, what up, though? Gang in the building. Loud. <laughs> Loud. That's all I can tell you, huh? You know what I mean? Purple Heart Gang in this thing. What's going on with you? Lady T says she missed the show yesterday. Well, let's get to it then, man. That's the, I think that's the last comment on the board. Well, let's get to it, man. Um, let me say again. Ignorance never beats logic. It just covers it up. That is a quote from he himself, Ozone Oden. I'm telling you right now that that cannot happen. Listen, this is what I'm saying to you. Have you ever been in a conversation with, I'm not going to even say a dummy. I'm just going to say somebody that is not well-versed in whatever it is that you guys are talking about. But let's say that you are. And every time you make a logical point, the ignorance, you know, the ignorance is bliss factor. The ignorance of the other person's bliss is almost, Almost, let's say, ah, what's the word I'm, I want to use here? It's almost believable enough to make you question your logic. You feel me? Like the ignorance part of his bliss is almost, it almost, make, it almost makes it believable to you. But a logical mind, a logical thinking person is going to say, wait a minute, man. Hold on, man. Logic is logic. All that other shit is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You can't make excuses. One thing my father taught me before he passed was grown men make decisions. They don't make this. They don't make mistakes, and they damn sure. Uh, 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 damn man, I lost my train of thought. Grown men they make decisions, not mistakes, and they stand in. It. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Now, the fact that he cried in that car that night, the fact that dog cried in that car that night and that all these years later, he still feels the need to explain himself to someone about something, says to me that he's fighting his own demons. You feel me? Someone has made him feel some type of way about standing in front of Pope for whatever reason he did so. So he still feels the need to explain himself is what is how it comes off. You know what I'm saying? Especially when he says it's out of his mouth. Like, you know, I'm explained and this, that, and other, and da, 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 You know what I'm saying? He sounds like Mike Epps impersonating somebody. You feel me, dog? I hate to hear dog's cadence. I don't like the way he talks. I don't like what you did. I I got my own morals and truth that makes me a man. And Man, shut the fuck up, man. You sound like Mike Epps and all about the Benjamin goddamn uh, uh, making fun of the old man behind the counter and shit. 44. 47. 45. 47. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he sounds like fucking Mike Epps, man. Man, that shit rears up too heavy, dog. That moon rock rears up too heavy, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, one of the first things that caught my attention that was said during his, his video broadcast stream, whatever you want to call it, we are intelligent enough to learn how to swim, but most stay drowning in a pool of ignorance. Man, great comment. Great comment. One of the first things that grabbed my attention during his broadcast or, you know what I'm saying, his video, his interview, whatever you want to call it, as he was with the D.C. native. And I don't know if he was in D.C. or if he was in New York City. I, I take it to be D.C., live on location. Um, he said, I just came home from doing 26 years in prison. And all I hear is if I get caught, I'm telling and I'm doing me. And they say they got it from Alpo. 
just as I've, I've written it in the notes, that's some bullshit. That's all I can say about it. that is BS, man. Wholeheartedly BS. Everybody saw paid in full. So if anything, they got that shit from Rico because everybody saw the end of the movie when he said, I'm coming home, still be the king. Nobody was privy to the fact that he actually wrote that letter till years, years, years down the line. So what the hell is he talking about? Second, how many times did you see Poe advocate for snitching? I'll wait. The man didn't have social media, rarely did interviews. Where did he ever advocate for snitching? I mean, you can go all the way back to almost the mixtape. Him and DJ K. Slay, the drama king. Rest in peace, God. You feel me? Shout out to the legendary twins, the big men. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, yeah. You can almost go all the way back then to where Poe said, I did what was best for me. Do what's best for you. If what's best for you is doing 26 years behind the wall, so be it. If that what speaks to your character and your soul, so be it. Or the other way, if you choose the Alpo route, so be it. But I, I just want to know, where did he ever advocate for that? He said, he said that shit like it made him mad when he came home. All I heard is motherfuckers talking about Poe, and I'm going to do what Poe did. And man, that's bullshit, man. That's bullshit. That lets you know, that's the air of jealousy in him right there. That lets you know he's upset that nobody was talking about him the way the way people were talking about Poe. Nobody was taken with him and his story, his billion-dollar story, the way that they were taken with Poe's. You feel me? So on that note, seek and destroy. Oh, he did this. Oh, I'm going to highlight this. Straight King Erner mentality is what I saw. You feel me? Oh, I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to stay on that. And ain't nothing he can say to get rid of that. And this, that, and the other blah, they split. Yeah. I made it through eight minutes and 59 seconds of it, but I didn't see nowhere where you said that Poe pulled up on you and y'all pulled them cameras out off the hair of your skinny skin chin, you know? That would have been nice. It would have been nice for you to go ahead and tell the truth about what happened that day and Poe pulling over on you. I'm pulling up on all three of y'all. What my nigga Birdman say? I'm pulling up on you, nigga. You feel me? What it do, nigga? You see Barbecuing on the front porch. Salute, man. Save me an impossible burger because I'm the big vegan, dog. You heard? The big vegan. The big OG 04 obituary. You know? I think he meant Jay-Z homeboy that used to get bricks back. OG wine. You right, might be OG Wan. My nigga Zulu Warrior, you don't forget shit. I said that a year ago. Let me know. Value your subscribers, real nigga shit. Word up, homie. You know I know what it is. And they lied and said Alpo had AIDS. Heard that in the late 90s. I never heard that, dog. I never heard that, dog. But listen, during the course of that little eight minutes, I only listened to nine minutes, eight minutes and 59 seconds. It took that long for the D.C. native to destroy uh, 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 Metafraudio's ideology. Period. It's like at a certain point, Fraudio didn't want him to speak because he every time he opens his mouth with that logic, that grown man shit that we all should, should have at this point, if you're around my age bracket or older, he tried to cover it up with ignorance. He tried to throw a sheet over it with ignorance. Now, nah, it don't work like that, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about a uh, unique metafraudio. You know what I'm saying? The YouTube streets say facts. Hurts him to his heart that he a rat lover. Absolutely. And that's another thing I'm going to get to later on in this, man. Craig Pettis, I hope you're watching this. Craig Pettis is what I take to be a fake account. It may or may not be. But he came wholeheartedly defending that guy and his channel and his mission and what he's out here doing and helping the youth and this and the other blase plea. Again, shout out to the legendary big man, the twins, DJ K. Slay's biological blood brothers. 
who actually got awards from the boroughs for being role models for the youth. Why ain't nobody talking about that? Ain't nobody talking about that. They actually got awards signed by the people in, in government for being role models and inspiring the youth. Ain't that what that prison jail nigga say he trying to do? Ain't it a program or something? If you look at the thing, if you go to his, his, his actual page, not the videos, go to the top page, go to his shit, it says what? Inspire the youth? Uplift the youth? Something like that? Well, maybe you need to get with the legendary twins so you can actually put in some work instead of standing behind in front of a green screen with prison cells right there and telling stories that halfway never existed. I mean, you did a lot of time, so you got a lot of yeast to throw in the pot. Who knows what you said, but we do know you've been caught in several, several lies. But people don't want to speak on them. And then when you do get somebody that will, what happens to them? The video comes down. I wonder why. I wonder why Dog is on a no negative press campaign. Go look at Glaze's channel. Glaze will tell you. This is shit that I told y'all over a year ago when I was going through it. When every video I made got a copyright strike. No negative press. They don't want the truth to be heard. What, the, what my man just say, these YouTube streets, that's a powerful comment because I'm about to get into something. He said, hurts his heart that he is a rat lover. What he say? Gunshots to the rat. What was what, what this saying? Gunshots to the rats? Gunshots to the rats. That's what he said on my pad right here, right? Did you give those same buckshots to Diesel? Yo, Eden Wall rat, homie. You know the rat from Eden Wall. Diesel, somebody go over there and jump in his comments and ask him if he gave Diesel the Eden Wall rat that walked into a federal court building turned himself in when they didn't know his name, didn't know his identity or shit. He turned himself in and took 200 and some months in the federal pen and walked out that motherfucker in less than that. Ooh, and he posted pictures with dog, riding in cars, at parties, throwing up beers and, 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 and bottles. And dog is the main one in your case that gave information. Did he get them same buck shots? Let me ask y'all something. Is it considered snitching when a said dope fiend trades a family member's vehicle for crack? And when said family member wants vehicle back, said dope fiend acquires help from the police in order to retrieve the vehicle that they had sold for crack. Now, if that's not telling, I don't know what telling is, dog. People need to stop playing games. <laughs> it's all I can say, man. People need to stop playing games, man. Because those of us who know who you are, I'm talking about that can read in black and white and saw on the appeals paperwork how you told on those young men trying to reduce your time and come home. That is public information and anybody can look it up. No, I do not cap. Y'all know it. Look at my face. Look like I'm fucking capping. Look up his appeals paperwork, man. I had it highlighted, man. I just didn't have time before this broadcast to put it across this screen for you. He told. He told about two young men he distributed work to, or not enough work for them to be testifying against him about that and that the real person that did this was that. That's the gist of it. Now, if that ain't telling, what is telling? What that says to me is he probably sent a lot of kites in the penitentiary, bro. Dog probably sent a lot of kites in the joint, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real 100 shit. Man, you don't know what a kite is. Look it up. You'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Bang. Let me let me cross off where I'm at, man. Cause I think I got ahead of myself with that, dog. 
I think I got ahead of myself with that. Gunshots to the rat shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's crazy, dog. Uh, let me cut that out. Bang. Bang. Okay, I still got a, I still got a point on that topic. So let's get to this, dog. Let's get to this. Again, I say, shout out to everybody in the chat. If you just joined in, a shout out to you about that. You say, oh, we got to post that. Man, I'm going to dig through the crates. You are, man, you know I have it. <laughs> you feel me? And if I don't, like I said, it's a matter of public information. If you know his government name, all you got to do is pop it in and the paperwork pops up. You feel me? It pops up. You talking about this? This one of the only ones in publication right here. Right now, to my knowledge, I'm talking about this lady, T. Oh, man, I got something to say about this. I don't know what I'm going to say. I got some stuff to say about this, dog. You heard? And as you can see, it is signed and autographed by her. You know what I mean? I got some stuff to say about this here. What that say to Odin? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want y'all to read that. You heard? We, we about to get back on subject. I, I know people hate when I get off subject. We're going to get back on subject. You know what I mean? Let's get back on subject. I'm one of the only ones with that right now. To my knowledge, I heard. A car for a pack being called the cops to get the car back equals a cat. What's the equals a cutthroat sneak thief crack pipe master splinter? There you go. There you go. What he said. He says it best a lot. He said, man, a lot of the time he be saying that shit best. I ain't gonna front. Peace to the gods. You know what I'm talking about. But dig this here, man. As I said before, let's get back to what he said. He said, I just came home from doing 26 years in prison. And all I hear is if I get caught, I'm telling, I'm doing me. And then they say Al, they got it from Alpo. So the logical person in the conversation retorts. And he says, from what I've seen and I've observed during my time out here and in there, they only despise the rap that told on them. Man, ain't that facts, though? I don't know many rat hunters. I've been to prison. I knew Nick, I didn't know niggas that went skyward for paperwork and shit like that. Mind you, I was in state, not feds. But still, I was at a, a pretty high level. And niggas just didn't, wasn't going around looking for paperwork. The word had to hit the compound that you was a rat some type of way. You feel me? A nigga had to know you from the streets, recognize you. You a rat nigga in this and other blase split. It just wasn't no paperwork parties in Jackson Penitentiary. Not where I was at. Not behind that wall. You feel me? And if it was, it was because of the circumstances that I just stated previously. You dig what I'm talking about? Nah. He said, people say they despise the rat. They despise the rat, but they only really despise the rat that told on them. Absolutely fucking right. A nigga told on me. How do you think I got my time in Jackson Penitentiary? But I'm the nigga with Team Alpo across the screen. I'm the nigga with Alpoology across the screen. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, do I just, yeah, fucking right. I despise the nigga that told on me, nigga. But like I told you before, that nigga scared as a motherfucker. Every time he bump into me, I'm like, man, I can't do nothing to you. You bulletproof, nigga. <laughs> if it comes out that I did something to you, nigga, you know what they gonna do me, nigga? Them people gonna do me something stupid, nigga. So you bulletproof as long as you don't get out of fucking line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, ignorance never beats logic. It only covers it up. Now let's get back to this. Man, let me pipe up, dog. Let me pipe up, man. Ooh. Yeah. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it, man. Let's talk about it, dog. Let's do it, man. Check it out. Uh, I think that's a fair assessment, dog, head, that people only despise the rat that told on them. 
You know what I'm saying? More than fair. Now, off that, dog comes back and says, uh, that's why Poe said, I'm not going to tell on nobody in New York. And when I come home, they still going to accept me. Uh, when you tell, you tell. I always say gunshots to the rest. That was his next statement. Like I said, man, every time logic come out, some more ignorant shit come out. You feel me? That's why Poe said, I'm not going to tell on nobody in New York. And when I come home, they're going to accept me. When you tell, you tell. I always say gunshots to the rest. Okay. Miss, Miss Lady T, it's a story in this book. I can't give it away. But it involves that dude, Metafrodio and Alpo. And I want to know if you said gunshots to the rest to pull face, man, because you had the opportunity from what I understand more than once or twice or whatnot. You heard, <clears throat> why are you running around and somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Did y'all ever hear that statement while Poe was alive? Because that shit could be deemed as a threat. <clears throat> that shit could be deemed as a threat. If you talk, if you're having a conversation, a podcast, an interview, uh, uh, whatever about me, and I'm the topic of conversation, and in that topic of conversation, uh, you call me a rat and then say gunshots to the rats, that shit could be called a threat could be deemed as one. So I'd like to know if he ever said that shit about Poe in, in before Poe transitioned. Put it like that. You know what I'm saying? Who that? Who that? Who that? Doc, I don't want to call your name out. Shout out Mr. Henderson. I'm going to call and say that. Shout out to Mr. Henderson. Salute, man. Purple Heart Gang and this thing. Shout out to the Cash App Gang. I'm about to get you your Purple Heart right now. One subscriber is worth a thousand. One supporter is worth a thousand subscribers. Let me not mix words. And you, sir, are a supporter, and I really appreciate that, man. Straight up and down. Gang in this bit. You heard? Gang in this bit. You say Dr. O. Absolutely, man. Sometimes sometime I got to decode shit. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to decode shit. That's where I'm at with it. You feel me? He said, uh, 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 gunshots to the rats. <laughs> Man, we need to get Diesel. Somebody need to get Diesel on the line. We got to have a conversation. So, <coughs> <clears throat> he said, I respected Alpo because he told me I know I wasn't supposed to do that. That's the next statement that stood out to me. I respected Alpo because he told me, yo, I know I wasn't supposed to do that. Then he shows a clip of Poe saying he's not advocating snitch. Where's the clip of him saying, yo, I know I wasn't supposed to do that. See, that's how you know it's smoke and mirrors and bullshit involved in what somebody's saying. That's what he told that man, Mr. Antoine White, Antoine White from D.C., the D.C. native. He said, yo, he told, that's why I respected Alpo because he told me, yo, I know I wasn't supposed to do that, man. Alpo ain't on camera saying that shit. Alpo, the, the flash he shows a Pope says, Pope has Pope saying, I'm not telling anybody this. I'm not advocating snitching. And then they got him being all aggressive. Like, I got my own truth. I got my own thing to talk about. And that's what makes me a man. And I'm a man. You want a man too, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Juana man looking ass nigga. You feel me? Ant man looking ass. Shut, man, you better shut your, your shiny ass up. Every time I see this nigga, he look like he got spit shine by, by Grady or something, dog. You know what I'm saying? That nigga belong in the junkyard on motherfucking Red Fox's show. You feel me? Straight up and down, man. That nigga's an old goat. Shady Grady looking ass nigga. You need to shut your ass up. You know what I'm saying? The DC guy told him, if my daughter was drowning and a rat saved her, he wouldn't thank the rat. And okay, logic is logic, my nigga. That's mean, even though he talking about Pope. That's why I said that that is a great, man, 
Ignorance never beats logic. It just covers it up. Because dog keep hitting me with steady knowledge, steady facts, steady logic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he keep covering up with bullshit. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Dog. If you don't, if you don't fuck with the rat, you don't fuck with a rat. You feel me? Period. Point blank, period. That's what the DC dude is standing on. That's what he bent politely enough. That's what he was standing on the whole time. Craig Pettis from Memphis told on Rio Chapo's cartel before we got caught and ran to Mexico and he had out in Mexico. Where's the Craig Pettis coming in? What's the fake account then? It's a fake account, my guy. He side in his bitch. You already know what it is, man. Loyalty over envy, man. What's good with you, blood? How you be? Mars said he too old to be looking for acceptance from his peers. Want to be down as nigga. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I'm going to chop down to the bottom and see what's going on down here, dog. He said in his thing, in his little rant, I didn't side with Alpo. I got my own truth to what I feel makes me a man. So if you didn't side with Alpo and you got your own truth to how you feel makes you a man, then why are we still talking about him on your channel? Why is he still a, com a, a topic of conversation, man? A guy came to me and told me how much uh, 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 he wanted, dog wanted to change the world. Basically, he wasn't trying to make no money off of Pope. Basically, he didn't even put out the extended version. I found out that's a lie. There's two versions on the channel one like 12 minutes, one like 19 minutes. So that's the extended version. What he got an extended, extended version that he chose not to put out? Bang. So he is trying, did try, and will try to make money off of Pope, just like putting up another video with his name in the title and discussing him again in front of his audience for whatever reason. It's monetizing off of him. If you don't fuck with him, you don't fuck with him. Why are you bringing him up in conversation? He brought that man up into that conversation with Mr. Antoine White. Nothing that they was talking about, it seems like he was set to, to destroy Poe's character from the jump. If you look at the beginning of the video, he begins to talking about people that try to be something they're not, try to fit into a moral code that they are not really uh, 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 of, that they don't really practice. So you were digging that pole all the way into the point to where you sat your ass on that bench or whatever it was, and you brought his name up for sport. Must be a slow week in the media. Nothing to talk about. I'm sure Mr. Pettis got a, a long story uh, of prison stories. Ain't that what you do, prison talk? He probably got a long list of prison stories he can tell, and this and that and other, but you chose to bring up Alpo. You feel me? Make it make sense for me, Lady T. Make it make sense for me. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Why are we still talking about him then? You don't side with what he did, man. Man, dog. Listen to this, man. <clears throat> this is the logic. This is Mr. White speaking again. Let's see. Let's take a couple comments before I get to what Mr. White said. You say dog look like an old ass church lady with that bucket hat on, them big ass teeth looking like who <laughs> Miss Odessa in front in the front row. I bet you got mad butterscotch in his pockets right now. That nigga said mad butterscotch in his pockets though. But here's the kicker though. You might be absolutely fucking right, homie. Who knows? You could be absolutely, totally right. You know what I'm talking about? Another reason I wanted to know if Poe had beef with the lynch mob was because he made that dude, Nitty, take a picture with him, and he was in the documentary. Was he a part of the lynch mob? Because that was some controversial shit from what I understand. That picture right there sparked a little bit of controversy here and there. But... On the lighter side of things, uh, uh, Ferris said he would have spoke to Pope. Ferris said he would have spoke to Pope. 
You feel me? So I don't know. I don't know how that go. You feel me? He could have been being sarcastic, though. You know what I mean? Yes, sir, I'm here. You did? I'm here. The decode is back, man. You know what I'm talking about? The decode is back, man. I heard him say, shut the fuck up. Not deaf to all rats. You heard him say that in regards to Poe? Was the conversation surrounding Alpo when he said that, yo? That's what I want to know. The lowest form of a man is to let a pregnant woman go down instead of taking the charge, especially when they got you already. There you go. There you go. Guess who had that video taken down? Lady T, guess who had that video taken down? Oh, yeah, 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 because I had the whole, I had did all the research. I had put it all together. The grandmaster plan, the scheme, I put it all down, you feel me? For the world to see, that video came down within fucking 48 hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to know how to fight the power. <clears throat> Apple had that crack cocaine smoker um, under pressure. Like he owed him commissary in the yard. <laughs> you probably absolutely right, dog. I got a little bit more than notes. I got a couple more points to get to, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, this is only eight minutes and 30, eight minutes and 59 seconds is where I stopped the thing at. Like, boop, this is all I need to see. Dog is killing that ignorant shit he's talking about with mad logic. You feel me? With mad logic. He basically told that nigga to stand down on his logic because you're not a rat hunter. You ain't out here hunting rats as you nigga. He said everybody said they despise rats, but they only despise the one that did da, 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 da. That's basically telling him, dog. Man, calm down. <laughs> calm down, dog. You feel me? Like, what is you talking about, man? Dog say he wanted to prove rats are the lowest form of man. Then why didn't he demonstrate on Alpo and try him like a sucker? I don't understand why he didn't eat. But we all know why he didn't, dog. That's why I said y'all watched the entire, y'all watched it in its entirety. It might be a part two. I might, y'all making me want to watch it in its entirety. I wouldn't mind because I don't, like I said, I like dog with the logic. I wouldn't mind hearing more of him. You feel me? Like I, I iron sharpen iron. He ain't sharpening shit over there, dog. You know what I'm saying? He cutting through copper. I would like to speak to dog personally. You feel me? If he ain't got no disposition about I, I talk to dog and iron can sharpen iron, but he over there cutting through copper, dog. You feel me? And it's, I don't know if it's if it, it's not so much that I don't think dog can 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 comprehend it, but that's what it's looking like. It's just he doesn't want to. Man, when it, it, it steady look like you don't want to comprehend logic, it starts to mean you can't to me. Oh, okay, they can't comprehend. Because every time a nigga throw logic at you, you throwing some ignorant bullshit back, you feel me? And, and, and trying to explain that, trying to explain it to stand on it. It don't make sense. Let's just get to the gist of shit. That don't make sense. That ain't real. What's real is this. You can get with this or you can get with that. <laughs> Y'all know what the song say. Learned a long time ago, don't look at one in the light. Look at the one holding the light. Absolutely. Absolutely, dog. No, ma'am. Misinformation. Let's get to the bottom. Deep the boss, let's talk TV. What up, though? How you be? I appreciate you coming out and rocking with me. I see your growth, and I respect it. Keep growing. You know what I'm saying? I see you pop up. I'll be watching your joints. You feel me? If you haven't, shit, get over to her joint and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Get her over that hump. She got a new hump to get over it. And she, her just do, she do. 
No, nah, Liddy was too young when the lynch mob got taken off the streets back in 1995. If he could have been a lookout, he's just another old face young nigga. Out of Harlem, old face young nigga though. Word. <laughs> He's just another old face young nigga though. When he was talking about rats, he kept mentioning Sammy's name. And you know Sammy Big with this podcast stuff. Sammy the Bull. See, that's that's like bait if you ask me. Mentioning Sammy the Bull's name. Why would you so you okay? So maybe he is trying to be a rat hunter, but at the same time. Sammy, like you, Sammy got a big ass audience. So for him to address you, and I, you know, you know what I'm saying, that type of shit. You feel me? Nah, man. Sammy ain't about to address that bullshit. He even care less about what he, what dog is talking about on his channel to his folks. You feel me? Straight up and down. That's just the way I feel about that. I could be wrong, but shit, he's still a mobster. Sonny Black said that's why I respect Glaze because he never threw shade at Poe. But you peep in person, dog was on some respect shit. But then on the other hand, when Poe gone, this post shit that is crazy, word though. I, I dig where you coming from. I dig where you coming from. Mr. Holmes, I only made it through eight minutes and 59 seconds. But like I said, from start to finish, at that point, you're absolutely right. It, the whole shit was about Poe. You feel me? Now, what I want to know is, does this dog, Mr. Antoine White, does he connect to Poe in any way, shape, form, or fashion? Did anybody that he ran with get hurt by Poe and listen to the other blase split? You feel me? For him to be bringing him up in conversation with him. I, I, I felt like there should have been some type of connection. On the 42nd Street, 142nd Street, Lucian. Poe is renting his mob for free. Absolutely. You already know what it is with me. Let's get back to these notes, yo. Check this out. Check this out. <clears throat> This is the logic. Let's talk about Mr. Antoine White. Let me see where we came from to get where we're going. Uh, 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 Fraudio says, I respected Alpo because he told me, yo, I know I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, they showed the little clips of this and the other blase split. Then the logic comes back in and says, everybody says they despise the rat, but if the person has something to offer, Maybe money, cars, a good outfit even. Uh, what do you say? A good outfit. They're going to sit up there and compromise all of that to embrace them. And by all of that, I guess he means morals, ethics, the code. They'll sit there and they'll compromise their ethics as a human being, as a person, in order to embrace a person that, that I guess, cooperated, right? Unique said... But we wouldn't. See, he, he he wouldn't let dog even finish, but we wouldn't. Bang, bang, I had to stop right there. <laughs> he said, but we wouldn't. Yes, you would. Yes, you have. And you are still compromising your stance and embarrassing yourself, embracing this Alpo culture. You feel me? As well as embracing that Eden Wall rat named Diso that you, you seem to not have a problem with that actually told on your case. It doesn't make sense, man. Why haven't you shouted him out? Why haven't? How many stories have you told involving Diesel? How many pictures are there on his 
How about that? How many pictures are there on his channel of him and Diesel? Does anybody know who Diesel is? If you don't rewind, I told you earlier. But yeah, <clears throat> every time you monetize a video about Pope, every time you talk about him at Idle Conversation, the people that have absolutely no connection to him in order to put out content for your channel, you are compromising your stance because if you don't fuck with the rat, you don't fuck with the rats. It's just as simple as that. It ain't no straddling the fence with me. You feel me? And that's what Dog is telling him. In logical terms, it ain't no straddling the fence. He says, but we wouldn't. Dog interjects and says, um, I don't think you and him partnering up to do anything was a good look, was a good idea. I wouldn't want him legislating anything to my kids. I like the way Dog speaks. Because at that point, Fraudio has said something to the effect of, uh, uh, we wouldn't, but me and him partnered up for the youth to let the youth know that wasn't something to do. And Dog interjected the D.C. native and shut down everything with supreme logic, supreme knowledge. You feel me? He says, listen, I don't think you and him partnering up to do anything was a good idea. I wouldn't want him to legislate anything to my kids. Nah, that's why I said he's been standing on it. I don't fuck with him. I don't fuck with him. I'm not doing nothing with him. Dog just said earlier that he said that if a rat saved his kid from drowning, he wouldn't thank the rat. He, he believes that strongly in what he's standing on. And then you got this ignorant nigga on the side of him with a slogan of shut the fuck up and gunshots to the rats that ain't standing on nothing. Call Glaze, talk to Glaze all the time, not to, not to, not to defame, defame Glaze in any way, shape, form, or fashion, but we know he cooperated. That's a relationship he had. He called Glaze in order to get me off his back a year or so ago. He called Alpo repeatedly in order to get me off of his back a year ago. As I told you before, it's a story in this book pertaining, pertaining to Poe and that man where he, I want to know if you if you said gunshots to the rats when you bumped into him, man. Purposely. See, that's what I don't understand, man. If you don't fuck with him, you don't fuck with him. You don't pull your car over, no matter who is in your car with you, to speak to that man because you don't fuck with what he fuck with. You don't represent what he represents. So why are you paying homage to him, respect to him? Why are you paying attention to him? It, it just don't make sense, dog. You know what I'm saying? No further argument needed. I didn't need to watch any more of it. I felt like dog stood on his moral code and he, he politely got his point across about how he felt about this and that and the other. And in the same time, he made dog look crazy, man. You feel me? Ain't nothing more to be said about that. Why would you want him talking to the youth about anything if you feel that strongly about what he's done and who he's done it to and him as a human being, as a man? I like the way he put that. I don't want him legislating nothing to my kids. You feel me? It is what it is. How you feel about it? Mr. Holmes says he wants to be recognized like Poe because he did 26 years and he didn't tell. That's a fair assessment. Mr. Miller says he did 26 years and still came home and nobody. That hurts greasy fried chicken lips ego and 1990 fake kingpin pride. I can't put no sauce on top of the ketchup. You feel me? That made sense. Because you don't put, well, maybe you do, because you put some goddamn mustard on ketchup if you're having a bite or something. You feel me? So you might, I might could put some sauce on top of the ketchup. 
but I don't want to. But I don't want to. Harlem Ryder said it's hard to take fair serious about Poe knowing better because Pop Poe chased his son. But that's the thing, though. Let's play devil's advocate. Let's say he he, he let's say he he approaches paparazzi Poe. I'm sure he'd had a conversation from Poe coming. I'm almost sure. No matter what you believe about paparazzi Poe, in the end, Poe was fine to him. No matter what, no matter whether you believe he is son or not, Poe was very fond of that kid. So that would have garnered a conversation if Ferris had approached paparazzi Poe in a certain way. The same way it garnered one for Poe approaching dog. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Lee, what up, though? He said, I believe that all of these NYC niggas are jealous of Poe. Poe has always gotten attention and nobody knows who these NYC dudes are. That's the root of all of this. A lot of dudes told and nobody cares about it. You're absolutely right. It's a Fortune 500 nigga that told. Niggas still call him, kicking with him every day. Every chance they get, because he a Fortune 500 nigga. So you are not capping. You say, hold up. Yeah, you know how it is and what it'd be. Yeah, you know what it'd be. All right, if that's it, let's see. We got some more in here. What, 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 what we got? What we got? Alpo was so popular back then, and when he come home and hit the internet, he was more popular than ever. See, when I see comments like yours, I'm not going to highlight your comment. But when I see comments like that, I know you somebody from that camp. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy that you should do that. You feel me? Instead of being who you are, which is probably hard for you because y'all are so used to having behind masks or whatnot, and saying what you need to say. I'm not speaking to you, Mr. Miller. I'm just leaving your comment on the screen. But I see somebody in here capping. They want my attention bad. They're trying to divert. They're trying to change my energy. And I ain't going to let it happen. You feel me? They never had that type of energy when he was home, no. Wasn't it funny when Post started yelling at him and he stood and he stand like a man and walk in my true word. <laughs> <coughs> word. All right, folks. Well, if we ain't got no more comments or whatnot, let's turn, what we gonna do? Let's, let's drive at night. Let's turn on the driving at night. You ready to ride up out of here smooth. You know what I'm saying? Anybody got anything else they wanna say? I'm getting ready to get out of here, folks. It's been a good day. I appreciate everybody that came out. Whether you hit that like button or not, I know you like the comments and you came you like the content and you came to see. And I appreciate it, you heard?
Mr. P. West, what up, though? I appreciate you making it out, man. I'm getting ready to ride out. If you didn't catch the cop broadcast, you probably got to catch it on the line, man. I'll get with y'all next time. Peace. Right, 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 right. I got you. I got you. I love it. Hey, what's going on? What you need? What you need? What you need for me right now? Um, give me something like. Can you say like, like, yo, uh, this is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with. Oh no, I'm tapped in with up for the big TV. Just something like, like, like that. Nothing big. You okay, know? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm just asking you what you want me to say. This is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with my main man. Yes, up sir. Big TV. Yes, sir. Oh, that's not. That's 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 easy and it's true. Go ahead, let's go. All right, go ahead. Whenever you're ready. All right. All right, all right. Yo, this is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with my main man up for the big TV all day. I fuck with him. Yes, sir. I appreciate you for that one. Yeah. We good? Yes, sir. All day, all day love. All right, Detroit, just hit me. It really hurt me when they killed Stan. Nobody knew who to shoot. We ain't even have a plan. He sold me my first gun. He held my first son. If I was with him shooting it out, bitch, we the one. I shed tears for my niggas who ain't here. They tattooed and spit that real shit to remember him. Bitch, I'm that dude. Catch a op and spit on his baby daughter. I'm that rule. Right at 3 o'clock, as soon as he get out of school. You killed my dude. I don't give a fuck about you. I hope somebody killed you in case I never found you. And yeah, they know I'm bound to and I put that on down. And when I saw Tawana start crying, shit, I cried too Cause then I knew it was real, that was your boo And I ain't fuck with them other niggas, but they cried too I wore black like a whole 30 days I slept in niggas' bushes, I fed niggas' caves Act Satan for the power and the rage, the kid, the right nigga Shot up a couple houses, a couple twice, nigga Supposed to been at your wedding, with you threw some rice, nigga But now nah, it's snake eyes, like I threw some dice, nigga I lost you, how the fuck I'm supposed to take this shit Without a real target, how I'm supposed to take this hit Now everybody get lit, it's a green light I sent a couple cowards to you, blood, take they ass to life God, I hope I killed you, nigga And if I didn't know it still do, nigga Yeah, you took my right hand, man, you took my nigga five Now everybody had a problem with these homicides Bitch, I don't care if you did it or not, you gotta die I know my nigga, he with me, he riding from the side Now I'ma let this mad hit you and rip through your bone tissue, bitch And if you still breathing, no, I'm still coming get you, nigga and I ain't going, he trying to set me up and he don't think a nigga know it Animosity show it through his words, how he spoke it Said he asking where I'm at, he trying to send him hit a smoking Bitch nigga, I hit niggas for that same motherfucker When niggas needed a friend, I treated him like a brother When niggas was on your ass, bitch I had your back covered Then the envy kicked in, jealous coward motherfucker This loyalty over envy, 